Did Steffi Forrester murder an innocent woman? According to spoilers from The Bold and the beautiful Sheila Carter Kimberlyn Brown, is not the dead body in the crematorium. However, there is undoubtedly a dead body. So who did Steffi Forrester Jacqueline Messines would stab and kill Steffi's life is forever altered by Sheila's death hoax. Keep reading for more information on what's coming up next week on Bold and Beautiful, The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers, Deacon's Discovery on Friday's B&B Cliffhanger episode. Deacon Sharp Sean Cannon made a horrifying discovery when he went to visit Sheila Carter's body. It turns out that the dead woman Steffi killed was not his lover, but rather a soapy doppelganger. Of course, bold and the beautiful watchers could see this twist coming a mile away. In fact, if the writers truly meant to surprise us, they should have left Sheila Carter dead. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Did Steffi Forrester kill an innocent woman if she lives still alive? It is possible that Steffi Forrester murdered an innocent lady or used her as a scapegoat. Sure, the mysterious woman was breaking and entering, and she appeared threatening, but what if Steffi knew it wasn't her mother-in-law? Would she still have killed her? Taking out her children's grandmother didn't worry Steffi. She slept like a baby after her death, can she live with herself? after she finds that someone else was fatally stabbed? Finn fears Deacon's mental breakdown over Sheila Swap's suggestion. According to The Bold and the Beautiful B and B spoilers, Deacon Sharp Sean Cannon will struggle to comprehend the shocking events that occurred. Deacon was merely attempting to say his final goodbyes and ensure that Sheila Carter Kimberlyn Brown was not alone in her final moments at the cremation. Instead, Deacon was left questioning whether Sheila was even dead at all given to the full view of ten toes on her corpse. Deacon is now contemplating everything and questioning how this is possible. Of course, Deacon understands that Sheila couldn't have magically grown that ten taw back. The only plausible explanation is that Sheila was not the woman in the box. However, it is no secret that Deacon has been battling with grief recently. Deacon will have a difficult time convincing John Fenn, Finnegan Tanner Novelin, to trust his narrative because the evidence was destroyed in the crematorium's incinerator. Finn refuses to believe Deacon's updates on what transpired and his claim that Sheila is still alive. Deacon will defend what he's seen with his own eyes, but Finn believes Deacon is having a mental breakdown. According to B&B spoilers, Deacon will be an emotional wreck as a result of this shocking turn of events, which will not help him. Finn will mistrust Deacon's sanity and may encourage him to seek professional help. Nonetheless, Deacon will grow increasingly sure that Sheila's still out there somewhere. We'll see Deacon take steps to show that a look-alike swap occurred, but he'll confront a difficult challenge. Finn may become more open to the thought that Sheila's still alive. Finn may conclude it's not that far-fetched. After sitting with Deacon's news for a time and genuinely thinking about it, Finn may begin to question if Deacon is correct and that this is his birth mother's newest surprise. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, additional information about Sheila's survival will be revealed at some point, so stay tuned for more predictions about Deacon and his search for answers. Hope and Finn band together to find Sheila, but will they go against Stephanie's wishes? The bold and the beautiful BMB spoiler state that now that Sheila Carter's Kimberlyn Brown survival has been established, we're moving on to the next phase of her tale. The ten toed body reveal was B and B's way of breaking the big news, albeit most of us weren't surprised. Now it's up to Deacon Sharp Sean Cannon to prove his point. That will be difficult because the body is a pile of ashes, but Deacon is determined to figure everything out. Although John Fenn Finnegan Tanner Novelin will first be dubious, he may alter his mind after speaking with toes. persons at the morgue. Deacon misses Sheila badly and would do anything to get her back. It's easy to see Deacon trying to find Sheila after a doppelganger definitely died in her place. Could Fit eventually wish to find Sheila as well? This plot has had a fascinating motive of Finn wishing he could have saved Sheila before it was too late. 
Finn hasn't been able to break his weird relationship with Sheila. So perhaps there's a reason if she's in difficulty and needs her son's help. Sheila may not have swapped locations freely. And if so, someone may be keeping her prisoner someplace. It's worth noting that Sugar, who was identical to Sheila due to plastic surgery, had a tumultuous relationship with her Sugar, may have tried to frame Sheila for removing Steffi from the map, but Steffi turned the tables. What if Sugar has an accomplice who is holding Sheila captive or something similar? This could be a case where Sheila requires a hero or perhaps a team of them. Even if this is all Sheila's ploy, Finn may be unable to relax until he receives answers. Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McThins Wood, on the other hand, may persuade Finn to leave the mystery unresolved in hopes Sheila stays away. That could lead to greater marital conflict and provide Finn with an opportunity to develop his bond with Hope Logan. Annie Canal Hope might help Deacon discover Sheila and eventually join forces with Finn. Our predictions lead to Deacon's search for Sheila, so keep in to see if Hope and Finn join in despite Stuffy's desires. Deacon disbelieves Carter's discovery, RG Grills, Luna the Bold and the Beautiful Bee, and be spoilers for the week of April 8. Are here to distinct persons have questioned Deacon Sharp's Sean Cannon sanity on the bold, and the beautiful sand forester Dominguez Dylan Demetz opens out to Carter Walton, Lauren Street Victor, produce energy for Street Lucia of Man, who for Luna Nozawa Lisa Yamada. Continue reading to find out what's coming up on the CBS Soap Opera BMB Spoilers Weekly Update. Deacon disbelieves Carter's discovery and R.G. Grills, Luna the Bold, and the beautiful spoilers Deacon Sharp Sanity. According to B and B spoilers for the week of April 8, Deacon will have a meltdown about Sheila Carter Kimberlyn Brown in the crematorium. Deacon is confident he saw Sheila's body in the cremation chamber with ten toes. That indicates the body cannot be Sheila because she only has nine toes. Deacon seeks to inform John Fenn Finnegan Tanner Novelin about his discoveries. Deacon is furious and panicked as he tells to Finn that Sheila may still be alive. Finn understandably believes Deacon is experiencing a mental health crisis. Finn will also throw Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McSinnons would a curveball possibly about Deacon's hypothesis. By the conclusion of the week, Rich Forrester Thorsten K. had given Deacon a reality check. B and B spoilers. Carter Walton's discovery during the week of April 8, Hope Logan Annika Noel, advises that Luna worked closely with Send. This puts Luna in a terrible situation. Luna cannot really say no without revealing her secret. Meanwhile, Zend is expected to open up to Carter about his emotions for Luna, the bold, and the beautiful spoilers. R.G. Forster's Grilling Session The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of April 8 indicate that Luna will be forced to confess for the millionth time. A sad Luna prepares to tell R.G. the truth about Send in a weekly preview clip. R.G. quizzes Luna and explicitly asks what occurred following Eric Forrester, John McCook, and Donna Bo, and be spoilers week of April 8, 2024. Fans can also expect Hope and Finn to comfort one another. How will Steffi react when she finds out? Finally, there may be some interruptions. The dates to keep an eye out for are Monday, April 8, Tuesday, April 9, and Wednesday, April 10, 2024. Which narrative are you most looking forward to witnessing for the week of April 8, 2024? This plot has had a fascinating motive of Finn wishing he could have saved Sheila before it was too late. Finn hasn't been able to break his weird relationship with Sheila, so perhaps there's a reason if she's in difficulty and needs her son's help. Sheila may not have swapped locations freely, and if so, someone may be keeping her prisoner someplace. It's worth noting that Sugar, who was identical to Sheila due to plastic surgery, had a tumultuous relationship with her sugar, may have tried to frame Sheila for removing Steffi from the map, but Steffi turned the tables. What if sugar has an accomplice who is holding Sheila captive or something similar?